city. Some people think it's just really scary, but actually it keeps you sharp and it's not that hard. Let me show you. Well, you know you're in New York City when you've got rollerbladers in the bike lane and all that. I'm just chasing the ticket here. <laughs> Ooh. And we're heading off Fashion Parade, dodging traffic and uh, trucks parked right in the way. Got to look behind. Watch your taxis cutting in front of you. Whole box and dice. There goes way. No, I can't. Of course you've got to be very careful riding here with one hand and holding a camera <laughs> and not get squashed. <laughs> Let's see how long he can stay there. I, I don't know. I can... Here's a street 40 foot that hasn't got any bike lane. Just move out into the street here. Just kind of use that left foot to kind of get you places. Remember, bus drivers have got side mirrors. Trucks will obviously try to uh, get by you. defensively you don't get pushed off the edge. So I'm a vehicle so I'm taking a decent amount of lane here. It's a pretty busy little street because this leads to the Lincoln Tunnel. This becomes a bike lane at 39 <laughs> but uh, until then we just have to ride on the road. So now we're heading south on 9th Avenue. The red light, I always try to stop at red lights. The reason I try to stop is then cars are more likely to develop more respect for cyclists if we obey the rules. If we uh, start going through lights it just confuses them. It makes them think that we don't care about rules. And it's a beautiful sunny winter afternoon here. January, the snow's melted. You've just got to weasel your way past the trucks. Just wait your turn, you know. Watch your doors of course. the traffic light. Ooh, that could have been a nasty door. We're waiting our turn here patiently. There it is, we can go now. Some people double parking and triple parking, but with a bicycle, you can just get around them really easily. I'm just gonna ride on the stripey bit here. It feels safe riding on stripey bits, doesn't it? Here's the bike lane, and I don't know why that cyclist isn't using it, but it's, look, it's luxurious, this 9th Avenue bike lane. <sighs> Cars respectfully staying to the other side of the line. Look at those bright green little lights there that say that we can go. <sighs> I feel like I'm in Amsterdam or somewhere somewhere civilized when it comes to cycling. Okay, now you gotta watch these people as they're turning left here, across the lane, and it says we should stop, so we should. So as you can see, it's not that hard and you get rewarded by these nice, wide, empty streets. Of course, I feel a whole lot safer because I'm wearing this uh, bright beacon on the, my back, which is my traffic cone bag, um, which you can, of course, get one from me if you want. Galfromdownunder.com slash store.